Bro, this is crazy. How we found this man? For calling the United States Penitentiary, Atlanta. USP Big Sandy is calling a reference to an inmate. Uh, yes, I actually have the register number. Can I just give that to you? Well, what's inmate's last name? Uh, Capri. Hold, oh, please. What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ray J Johnson, aka the KRJ, back again with another man. And in today's video, man, I'm gonna be calling Kodak Black's jail, man. Cause as y'all know, man, I did a video of calling YNW Melly's jail, but pop it up right here. It's almost at a million, you feel me? And I was like, well, who else is in jail or prison? You know, that's a big artist, you know what I'm saying, that I could call. I know DaBaby was just in jail, but he got in and got out. You feel me? I did 6 9 before. And then my bro Nate sent me a video on Instagram about Kodak Black being moved from one prison to another prison because, bruh, let me tell you this. Number one, they're saying they're mistreating him. Two, they're like abusing him. And three, they're like giving him drugs and like overdosing him, you know what I'm saying? So they moved him from one location to another. The thing is though, nobody knows where he's at. Nobody knows where he's at. So yeah, I am taking a risk by calling the jail, you know what I'm saying, on my phone. I could get in trouble, but you know what? It's for the content. What has my life came to? Make sure you go down below, like, comment, subscribe, join the Arjun Squad, man, can say it with me, I'll wait. We be cooking, man. Comment that down below as much as you possibly can, man. Without further ado, bro, let's get straight into this video. Yo, so check me out, man. So basically, I got my laptop right here, man. I'm on incognito, you know what I'm saying? I don't want that coming back, even though it can still come back to me for searching this up, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, I'm gonna go to, go to Google, you feel me? Like I said, first thing first, man, we gotta figure out where this man is even at, you know what I'm saying? And basically, what happened? So we're gonna type in Kodak Black. And we just, first we gotta find some information, man. Okay, we also know that, okay, Kodak Black, his name. You know, it's Bill, let's see, K Capri. Make sure you remember that. Also, he is 22 years old, bruh. Make sure we got that down, we gotta make sure we have all this because what y'all could do, bruh, you could look up inmates and see where they're at. Cause once you're registered, it don't matter if you're famous or not, you're registered, you know what I'm saying? So they got all your information. So first of all, let's see how long Kodak Black is in jail for. If y'all, a lot of y'all don't know, he's in there for 46 months. That's about three years and eight months. Dude, that's right on the dot, somewhere around there. So also, on the thing, on the inmate, it's gonna show you when they're gonna get released. So we're gonna know if this is really him or another Bill Capri, but most likely though, it's gonna be him. All right, so I just typed in Kodak Black. I'm gonna type in jail. I don't know, I'm gonna say um federal prison, because he was head, uh, held in the prison, you feel me? So federal prison, rapper, okay, look, 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 look. So let's, let's, we gotta read what they was talking about anyway, so we can know where he's being sent to, because I don't even know where He's been sent to. So let's see, it says, Kodak Black has been sentenced nearly four years in federal prison after, okay, bro, we know about all that, but where is he being sent, bro? All right, guys, look, okay, we got a little information, man. Kodak Black is no longer in Miami federal prison. So he was at the Miami federal prison is where he was at. So where did he move, though? Where did he move, bro? Bro, why is this, it's not telling you where he's moved to. That's all I want to know, because then once we find that out, then we can literally know where he's at. All right, guys, we're good, bruh. We are good. Right here, lawyers. Kodak Black moved to federal prison in Kentucky, bruh. Yes, sir. So he is in a prison that is in Kentucky. Okay, okay. Does it say where, though? Miami. Okay. The mother of rapper Kodak Black and a group of lawyers called a new conference to discuss what they claim in the mistreatment in a federal prison in Miami. Like I said, man, he was getting mistreated and it's crazy because they could be doing anything to him in the inside and we don't even know, you feel me? Because we're out here and he's in there, you know, and it's behind the scenes. Okay, 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 okay. So basically, look, 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 look. We're gonna open another page right here and basically we're gonna just keep Kodak Black's, all his information right here, everything about him. So everything we need, nationality, all that type of stuff. So when we look it up, we're gonna type in this federal prison, Kentucky. Just like that. Oh, is it closed? Oh, it might be closed. Federal, okay, right here. Manchester, Kentucky. Is this it? Hold up, hold up. So we're gonna go to the website. Hold up. SCI Manchester, this could be where he's at, bruh. Okay, okay, okay. So you see right there, it says inmates, find inmate. Look, okay. 
We don't know his um, number, so we're gonna go find by name. First name, right here. Bill, don't know his middle name, but Capri. Race, black, obviously. How old is he? He's 22, and he is a male. Bro, we are finna hit search right now. Once we hit search, bruh, hopefully we can find him, bro. We gonna see, here we go, three, two, one. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay. All right, located at Atlanta USP. So he's been moved again? Hold up, Bill Capri, hold up. So if we copy this register number, copy that. We're gonna go to find by number, if we paste that. We just got some information on Kodak Black, man. We got some information, we got his, red his number, you know what I'm saying? So basically, he's 22 male, release date, August 14th, 2022, which that would be the end of his sentence because he was sentenced to three three years and eight months. Oh, okay, so facility information. So he's at the USP Atlanta Federal Prison. No way. Okay, visiting hours. Hold up, visiting hours, 8 a.m. to 3. Oh my, okay, bro, look, look, look. So we now know where Kodak Black is at. He was in Kentucky, now he's in Atlanta. No, we're gonna go in inmates real quick. Hold on, we're gonna find inmate again, and then we're gonna type inmates. And we're gonna type his number in right here. Let's see if it shows the same thing. Okay, it's gonna show the same thing. So call or email, bruh. We were finna call, bro. We are actually finna call, no cap. All right, man, so look, we have the number right here. I'm going to do a star six seven four zero four six three five five one zero zero. So star six seven, man, it is unknown, so they might not even answer, but look, I'm calling right now. Bro, this is crazy how we found this, man. For calling the United States Penitentiary, Atlanta, Georgia. Visitation will be conducted this weekend, February 8th and February 9th. However, a unit will not have visitation privileges. The following numbers will be followed. 76 through 20. All right, man, so we got a little automated system going on right here. Again, visitation will be conducted this weekend. Okay, man. Okay. Bro, so. Please hold for All right, bro, I'm going to get connected, man. Here we go, bro. It says it's closed, but I don't know what to say. Oh, God, I don't know what to say right now. Let's hope they even answer. Bro, it's literally just ringing now at this point. All right, okay, let's, so I'm gonna call just normally without Star Trek 7, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna see if they answer this time. All right, bro, so I was literally just sitting here and the call just hung up. They just hung up the call. They didn't even pick it up or nothing, so I'm calling once more again. All right, bro, so look, I'm calling once again, bro. Look, hopefully it don't hang up. That's the number right there. Listen. And it's hung up, bruh. Bro, they are not answering. There, I might have to call in the morning something, bruh. It is 11 o'clock at night. It's probably why they're not answering. So, yeah, man, I'm going to kiss y'all tomorrow morning. All right, man. So, look, believe it or not, it is the next day. I might look the exact same, but I just got out the shower. That's why my hair looks wet and also white. So, I was just about to call again. But I was like, let me look up and let's see where he's at. And now it says that he has been located or transported to Big Sandy USP. And I go to facility information, you feel me? So he is now at USP Big Sandy, a high security US penitentiary. Oh my God. If y'all could see the picture of what I'm looking at, this prison, y'all would be like, this man is being held on some different types. Look, bro, this is crazy, no cap. So literally, this man, they're moving him like overnight. Oh, back in Kentucky, he's in Kentucky. All right, we'll call. You have reached United States Penitentiary in Big Sandy, Kentucky. If this call is in reference to an inmate, dial zero or stay on the line. If you know your party's extension, you oh, might dial zero. Oh, he's zero, he's zero. you to operator. All right, I gotta I got sound professional, bro, professional. Cause you know what I'm saying? They gonna hang up they go like a little kid. USP Big Sandy is just calling a reference to an inmate. Uh yes, I actually have the register number. Can I just give that to you? Well, what's the inmate's last name? Uh Capri. 
And the register number? Uh, 18149-104. Hold, please. What if we get a croc, nigga? If we talk to Kodak. I don't know, I'm gonna hold right now, bruh. It's crazy that I'm talking to this dude right now. This is a someone added, like, this is no joke. This is a real, you know what I'm saying? That is the number. Ain't no flaws, no faking going over here. It just his little, look. That's all I hear right now. I wonder if they're gonna give me the information on him though. All right, man, so look, I'm still on hold, bro. So I don't know if they're probably telling him he can't give me that information or if it's taking him a while to look it up. But bro, oh my God. So he's, they moved him from Kentucky to Atlanta, Kentucky. Again, I don't know how far of a distance that is, but they was moving that, man. See, imagine that, sitting on a bus, like just sitting there, from there to there, back and forth. All right, you still here? Uh, I'm still here. All right, what's the inmate's last name and number? Uh, Capri. How you spell that? Uh, K A P R I. All right, first name. Bill, B I L L. Number. And the number is a one eight one four nine dash one zero four. All right, you should be Oh God, oh God. I was getting transport the fuck, bruh. Reach your voicemail, Tracy Allenson. I am unavailable at this time. Please leave your name and number and I will return your call. Thank you. Hey, if you can keep me it. No. I was trying to, why was I actually gonna leave a voicemail? I want to look at call back and I just want to ask if he's there and I just want to see what he says. That's what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to call back and I want to see if Kodak Black is there. Or I'm going to just say... Oh, you've reached United States Penitentiary. Or I'm going to just say if, if Bill is even in that like facility. We're going to see. USP Big Sandy, is this call in reference to an inmate? Uh, yes it is. What's inmate's last name and number? I'm sorry, I got, I got disconnected the last time, but it's uh, Capri. Uh, one eight one four nine dash one zero four. Yeah, did I just speak to you? Uh, yes, I got disconnected. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, hello. Excuse me. Can you hear me? Yeah. What's your name? Oh yeah, uh, Johnny Davidson. All right. What's this regards to? Um, it's actually about uh, the inmate, Bill Capri. I'm actually gonna be sending some uh, money in. Yeah, no one picked up. Okay. You get a voicemail? No, it just got just got disconnected. Like just disconnected. That's why I called back. Okay, hold please. I'm lying in like a Hey, this is look, this is a side y'all never seen of me, man. I know how to talk my way through stuff, but I was trying to think of a name. It's like I'm not gonna use my name, because they already got my number, cause I'm not calling on star six seven. I think it's tripping. So it's whatever, bro, but hey, this is something y'all don't know about me, man, about the kill RJ. I get my way through things, for real. You also can call and, like, basically have, like, a concern. You can send money, packages, and mails, all type of stuff. So, like, I'm going to actually send Kodak some money, bro. <laughs> you don't need it. I'm going to send him, like, $10, $5. Just why not, you know what I'm saying? Just because. I think the reason why they're taking me so serious is because I know the information about him and everything, you know what I'm saying? So. All right, dude, man, okay. I'm sorry, I'm here. Say that again. Did anybody pick up? Uh, nobody picked up, no. Okay, I'm gonna try this extension. Okay. And if you get voicemail, make sure you leave your name and number and leave the inmate's last name and register number. I can give no callback number, but it'll hang up if I get a voicemail. Nobody gonna answer. You reached the voicemail with Tracy Allison. So Tracy, man, Tracy, answer the phone, man. Answer the goddamn for look, bro. So look, I don't know. 
don't know what to say, bro, because this is low key like, I. Oh my god, I, the fact that I actually got in contact with them, man. Alright, man, so hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If y'all did, make sure I go down below right now. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Join the RJ squad, man, because y'all know. Say it with me, I'll wait. We be cooking, man. You know, say this is crazy, though. Like, the fact that I was just tracing him.